My name is Megan Edwards of Focus Communications, and today we're getting an update from Labrador Gold, which trades on the Toronto Venture Stock Exchange under the symbol LAB. And joining me today, we have President and CEO Roger Moss. Roger, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Megan. It's great to be back again. Now, as a general introduction to Labrador Gold, could you please give our listeners an overview of the company and your flagship Kingsway project in Newfoundland? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but before we do get started, I just want to point out that uh, in these kinds of presentations, we do make forward-looking statements. So that's covered here in our disclaimer. Hopefully, people will take a look at that at some point. But uh, but Labrador Gold, really, it's we're, we're a junior mining company. We're based in in eastern Canada, projects in Ontario, New Brunswick, and Newfoundland and Labrador. But of course, our flagship project and the one that we have been doing all the work on over the last two and a half years is our Kingsway project near near Ganda in Newfoundland. And mm -hmm. what what we see here on this on this slide is basically there are four or five occurrences that that we've discovered and upgraded and drilled over the last two and well actually no we've only been drilling for a year and a half. And mm -hmm. so we've had, we've actually had some incredible success at at Kingsway, discovering Big Vein in early October of 2020. A year later, we discovered Golden Glove, and following that was the pristine pristine target and Midway. And both pristine and Midway were discovered undercover, so they were they were really done by following up on geophysical and geochemical anomalies. And I think it's a great testament to our team. That uh, that we had the success we did in in, in following up those anomalies and uh, so far we've uh, we've drilled four of those targets and we've and we've hit gold on every one of them so it's it's a pretty good record to date. Absolutely. Now let's talk about your news release today, where the company announced surface samples results of up to four hundred and seventy eight point five grams per ton gold at the Golden Glove target. Could you run us through the press release for our listeners? Yeah, so uh, I'm just going to go back here a minute because uh, we can see we can see where Golden Glove is. Golden Glove is down here in the in the bottom in the southwest and end of our of our project, and you'll see just this is the border with Newfound Gold, this blue line coming through here, and you'll see just across the border is is one of one of Newfound's occurrences called Big Dave, and then further down here you have. You have Keats Lotto Golden Joint, which is where they've been publishing most of their results from. So, so Golden Glove is along this Appleton Fault trend where Newfound Gold has been has been seeing a lot of success. As have we at Big Vein, Pristine, and also here at Golden Glove. So, if we go on to the to the news release, yeah, some great some great numbers here. Now, these are grab samples from quartz veins, very similar to what we published probably almost almost a year ago now when we discovered Golden Glove. We at that point we had a bunch of grab samples from 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 quartz veins, similar kinds of grades. This sample 601 is probably a bit better at 479 grams a ton, but obviously some good grades. Lots of visible gold in these samples. You can see right here the first the first four samples. This this there you go. The, those asterisks in the first four samples are for uh, vis indicate visible gold in those samples. So that's why that's why these grade grades are higher than the ones down in the bottom. But all all six of these samples have a significant pyrite and arsenopyrite mineralization associated with them. Now one of the interesting things about this quartz vein is we believe that it's a splay off the original quartz vein that was found in, in October of last year. And what what that means is that it's it's connected but it also has a, a, a different direction. And from what I understand from the geos, the original quartz vein trends north, north, northeast, whereas these quartz veins are splaying off that and trending more towards the east. Mm -hmm. Now the significance of that, maybe I can show in the next in the next slide here. We know that down at down at Queensway, at where 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 Newfound Gold are are working and having having a lot of success. They have, especially at Keats, I think. I'm not sure about the other two, the or the other the other occurrences, but at Keats, their highest grade gold mineralizations tends to be associated with 
with structures that trend towards the east. And I'm going to skip over this one for a minute. And that's, that's kind of what we see here. We can see Golden Glove down here. The assays from this latest news release are shown, are shown in, the, in, the, in the blue square right here. And then these are, these are previous, previous assays. The 338 grams a ton was from that, the, the samples we took last year in October. And here are the, these are our initial drill results from, uh, from Golden Glove, six grams a ton over four meters and 20 grams a ton over one meter. So we've already followed up this original sampling with some good grade grades in the drill holes. But what I want to point out is that this on this diagram, which is a little busy, it's got a lot of different interpretations on there. The, the red outlined areas are anomalous soil samples and the, the colored dashed lines are mag and, and electromagnetic anomalies or lineaments as we call them. And one thing to look at is, is right here. And this, this lineament right here, it, it's an electromagnetic lineament. It goes basically from, from Golden Glove and it stretches out towards the east. And that's exactly the kind of structure that would be, that would be interesting to us. And it's probably related to where these veins are that we sampled these, these high grades from. So, you can see again the affluent fault zone coming up through here in the red dash line. And so this potential structure is a splay off that affluent fault zone and very close to where we see golden glove appearing. So perhaps not, not that, that surprising that we, that we get good gold mineralization there. And just to go back to this, this is what our gold mineralization looks like in some of the samples there. You'd have to, you'd have to zoom in a little bit to see the actual gold, but you can see some of the some of the the red circles here marking the areas of the gold where the gold grains are and this this enlarged area photo here is taken from this from this part of the sample sample right here and uh, this was this was the highest grade sample as you can see with and with with lots of gold grains so not surprising that it was that it was there was such high grade yeah, absolutely. And you've had some early drill success in this target area where you previously announced 10.31 grams per ton gold over two meters, located approximately 160 meters south of the discovery outcrop. What are the next steps for drilling at Golden Glove? Well, we're still drilling there. I believe now we're on hole 11 or 12. Mm -hmm. So we we're, we're, have been systematically working our way back towards that discovery outcrop along that 160 160 meters. This, the, these new veins that we just found at surface will certainly give us some more information on, on the structural controls of the mineralization and should help us to be able to better target these, uh, these drill holes going forward. So uh, I, think, I think we have about 33 drill holes permitted in the Golden Glove area. So a lot more drilling to come from Golden Glove and uh, we're pretty excited to, uh, to have these these new samples that will give us an additional target to, to drill down Golden Glove. Okay. And to wrap us up, could you tell everybody why they should be keeping an eye on Labrador Gold for the remainder of 2022 and beyond? Yeah, I think, you know, probably one of the, one of the biggest, well, there, there, there are a few things. One, we, obviously we've had, we've had success here at, at, at Kingsway and uh, drilling, drilling four out of four and, 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 and getting gold on every one is, uh, is I think, a, a pretty, pretty good batting average. Um, mm -hmm. we, have, we have actually reached a milestone, 50,000 meters. We were halfway through a 100,000 meter drill program. So that's significant. But what it also means is that we've got another 50,000 meters to go. And what's more, we have, we have the cash in the bank to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. We've got more than enough cash to, uh, to, to do that entire 50,000 meter of, of drilling and then some. So, you know, I think lot, lots of drilling to do, lots more results to come and, you know, all deposits are found by drilling and we've got a lot of that to do in the next, in the next six, six to eight months. Well, sounds like you will be very busy and we'll definitely have to get you on again. Thank you so much, Roger, for uh, taking the time to talk to us about Labrador Gold today. You're very welcome. It was great to chat with you.